When you got the call saying Kylie's got breast cancer, what was that time like for you? Do you remember that call? Yeah, because um, I was in London, Kylie was in Australia, and I was told that, you know, I can't remember what it was, but it was going to be very hard to... Uh, it was because she was on tour, and in order to not go on stage, she had to declare for insurance why can't you go back on stage so that everyone can get their tickets refunded and all of that. So mm -hmm. it had to be announced, but I was in London. I got on the next flight I could, but then uh, the stop off was, I think, in Singapore at that time, and uh, I just got hounded by press and trying to get back in the country, trying to get in the house to see her. Wow. So it was kind of like, I didn't even have a second to really process it because mm. there were just all of these other hurdles and hoops that I was having to go through to then just just be still and quiet with her and, and, and sit and find out. But it's, um, it's always a, a huge thing because, as you know, um, it doesn't only affect the person who has the cancer, the entire family. Mm. Um, so it's like all hands on deck and, um, yeah, it's like... It's a frightening, frightening thing, that C word. Oh, yeah. It's like, you don't want to hear the C word. You don't up. want to hear it, because automatically you go, are oh, they going to die? That was my first thought was, I'm going to lose my mum. You know, and it's not, it's mm. absolutely not the case. There's, you know, for a lot of people now, the, the treatment and everything is, is so incredible. Mm. Did, you, did it shift your family, though? Like, I know it's such a shitty thing where it takes something so huge sometimes to jolt everyone back to reality and go, okay, this is all that matters. Did that happen in your family? I think because of our lifestyle and what we do and we're always so like close and private and protective, we're constantly in, in I don't know, in a space where I don't think that it could define us anymore or make us any closer. Right. Um, you you definitely see what um, parts of your personality come out if someone's mm. the nurturer or the organiser or the whatever and you all work together as a team. Yeah. It's so true that you get roles when things like that happen. It's exactly what happened in Designated our family. Designated roles. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. funny, isn't it? What was your role? Um, very much... Uh, when I found out, I think the first thing that ran through my head was not only so sad for Kylie but I was just thinking okay it could be worse because I reckon the toughest role is to be the parents right now mm. so I'm not that so it's okay because it just could be worse like they've just got the toughest role yeah so I'll just do my role and um when she was in Paris having her chemo I was just back and forth from London and um, mum was there with her a lot, dad was in and out and um, my job was to pump them up Yeah. because they needed it mm. and then to also pump her up so it was about a lot of laughter and fun like she yeah. had all of the food things sorted, what you meant to eat, not eat and um, but it was just getting through the hours and the yeah. minutes that felt like forever yeah. comedy was a big part of it mm. um watching shows and movies that you never get time to sit down yeah. and watch and we were forced into a space of really stopping mm. and we just it's not something that we do our whole family we're just always running around the whole time mm. busy 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 and uh it's actually not it's not a bad thing to do mm. and there's certainly a lot of positives that our family have got out of it and other friends of mine that have been through it they said actually you know there were these great things that came yeah. from being forced into that position well you can't go through something so hideous and not have something on the outside you know like you can't go mm. through that and then not come out and go god there has to be some silver lining you know like mm. it, my stepdad and i got a relationship from it you yeah. know like things like that are invaluable yeah. which we wouldn't have had if my mum we didn't think we were going to lose yeah our person you know yeah. 
but god man it is it's i sometimes just think i'm a sitting duck i know that's so negative Dude. but i'm like everything my mum gets she gets migraines she gets this she gets that i'm like thanks mum. great this is just another thing to add to the list so i'm like a bit paranoid about like i had mastitis the other day and i'm like oh there's a lump oh my god oh my god i'm turning yeah. to like a full hypochondriac when it comes to yeah. cancer because it does something yeah, to you that would be difficult yeah